guys, welcome back to Malad Eats. I'm Malad and we'll be eating. And today we're making tamales. We're making beef braised tamales. Now, I've never made this before as most of my recipes are done, you know, last minute, but it worked out amazingly. They were absolutely delicious. So I'm sure you know tamales are a Mexican dish made with corn masa dough and it is stuffed with a bunch of different things we used beef this time it's usually made with pork sometimes it's made with chicken and it was very easy but it was time consuming so if you have a lot of time this is the recipe for you now please enjoy the video for this recipe we're using beef chuck roast you're gonna slice your beef into large chunks about two inches thick Salt very generously as this meat is thick and can handle it. Then, in a large Dutch oven or pot, heat 2-3 to three tablespoons of olive oil on medium-high heat till smoking slightly. Then sear your beef till brown on all sides and comes loose off the bottom of the pot. You're looking for a rich brown color just like that. Then add 2-3 to three bay leaves depending on the size, a white onion peeled and halved, and enough water just to cover the meat. Let that simmer on medium heat for about one and a half to two hours covered till the beef is so tender it falls apart when pinched. Remove the beef into a bowl and set aside. Then you're gonna strain your broth into a bowl, making sure to reserve the onions. Add the soft onions into another bowl and discard the bay leaves. Now for the flavor punch, we're gonna use four ancho chiles and six pasilla chiles. De-stem and de-seed them, and then add them to a saucepan and heat them on medium-high heat until smoky and the oils of the chili come out. Then add just enough water to cover and let them soften off heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. For your corn husks, make sure to wash them very well and then soak them in hot water till pliable per the package instructions. Maybe don't overcrowd them like I did. Make sure they're all submerged. Once the chiles are soft, add them to the onions along with a cup of the broth. Then you're going to add 5 cloves of peeled garlic, 1 tablespoon of Mexican oregano, 1 tablespoon of ground cumin, and then you're going to blend that with an immersion blender or transfer that into a blender and blend until smooth. Reserve about half a cup of the chili sauce for the masa dough. The rest will be for the filling. Then you're going to shred your meat completely, making sure they're all the same size. Then, in a large pan, heat 3 tablespoons of oil over medium-high heat and add your chili paste. Salt to taste and then once heated, add your shredded beef and saute until the sauce is completely absorbed by the beef. Once it's absorbed, let the meat cool completely. Now for the dough, you're going to use 3-4 to four tablespoon of shortening or lard and whip that until light and airy. Once it's light and airy, you're gonna add four cups of masa harina, or corn flour. Then with your hand, you're gonna mix until it has the consistency of wet sand. Then add the reserved chili sauce and three cups of the beef broth. Mix till it looks and feels like Play-Doh, adding water if necessary. To assemble, you're going to grab a corn husk, smooth side up, grab about a handful of dough, and spread it out on the top two thirds of the husk, just like that. Then grab a heaping forkful of the meat and add it to the middle of the dough, just like that. Then using both sides of the corn husk, cover the meat with the dough, and then fold at the bottom, just like that, and you're done. Repeat the process with the remaining dough, and there you have it. You just made 20 so tamales. Now to steam, you're going to add about 6 cups of water to a large stock pot, then add a bowl and a plate on top to create a platform 
If you have a steamer, that's great, but I didn't, so I improvised. Then you're gonna let the water boil over high heat, and once it's boiling, you're gonna add the tamales with the open side up, making sure that the tamales do not touch the water. Add all your tamales and then cover, and then let that cook for about an hour. After an hour, uncover and take out one of the tamales to test. The tamales should unstick clearly off the husk. Then you know they're done. You can freeze them after they've cooled off or you can serve them with salsa on top and enjoy. All right, and that is how you make tamales with a little bit of salsa. If you want the recipe for the salsa, you can head to my TikTok at Milad Eats and check it out. Now let's try this together. All right, my mouth is watering. This looks so good. Nice big bite with a little bit of beef. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. So tender, spicy, smoky, flavorful. This is so good. You really have to appreciate the work that gets put into these because it was very demanding, but so worth it for making a bunch at once. And then you can freeze it and make it and steam it like another time. Absolutely delicious. And if you would like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down and let me know why in the comments below. And I'll see you next time on Maled Eats.